Hi again. In this video, I'm going to show you why the derivative of the log of x base a equals 1 over x times the natural log of a. This is very similar to the derivative with respect to x of the natural log of x in that that is 1 over x, but you notice this extra piece here. I'm going to show you where that comes from. Okay, so the first step in this problem, just like for the last proof, is to rewrite this as an equation. So we'll let y equal this. If you do that, you've got y equals the log of x base a. And now you can rewrite it in exponential form. So a to the y equals x. Again, we're going to take the derivative of each side with respect to x. And when we take the derivative of each side, on this side, we have to implement the chain rule since we're taking the derivative with respect to x and the variable is y. So when we do that, we get a to the y times the natural log of a. And then remember, we have our chain rule times dy dx. On the right-hand side, that's a nice simple derivative. That equals 1. We want to isolate dy dx because we let this equal to y. When we get dy dx, we'll have the derivative of the natural log of x base a. So we're going to divide both sides by this quantity. So dy dx is going to equal 1 over a to the y times natural log of a. And if you go back and remember, a to the y equals x, so we have a nice little substitution we can do again, just like we did in this last proof. So we've got dy dx equals 1 over x times the natural log of a, and we're done. Now, I want to point something out. If you look back at this proof we did in the last video, if you implement the same rule that we had here, because remember the base on the natural log is e, if you take the derivative with respect to x of log base e of x, you get what we've got here. You're using this rule, however, you're going to end up with this answer. So you would have 1 over x times the natural log of e, and remember the natural log of e equals 1, so you get 1 over x, and that brings us back to what we did in the last video. So these two rules are actually the same. If you have trouble memorizing all of these things, look for patterns and realize that when you're taking the derivative of log of x base a, that's very much the same as taking the derivative of log of x base e, which is the derivative of the natural log of e, and that's just 1 over x. So always look for similarities and patterns that will help you memorize things. Hope this helps.